Stop running from the self-work. Because when you do that, you ruin your self-worth. Um, comes in forms of overworking, overeating, smoking, drinking, whatever your vice is. Like, those are all ways that you're running away from what needs to be worked on inside here and here. Um, you gotta find healthier habits. And it's taken me a long time to really get to this particular place in my life because like, I've had to identify those things over the decades that I've been alive. Uh, some of it is even just working too much, keeping busy, being productive so that you don't have to deal with whatever's going on inside or at home. Uh, sometimes it's over drinking. Done that where not only have you overworked, but you spend your days off, your time off, going out just to drink, whether it's with friends or family to socialize. Um, you're really just numbing what's going on inside. And then to add on top of that, the overeating, uh, you know, when it's just convenient for you to just find something because you're tired or you're stressed at the end of your day. You know this is not your greatest self, your highest, your highest being. You're self-sabotaging. You know, you're ruining your self-worth. And each time that you wake up after a hangover or you wake up late, you know, to drop your kids off at school or you're waking up late for your next shift at work, or you're showing up tired for your client, or you're not really enthusiastic about coming home to your family or going to go visit family. Um, these are all signs, symptoms, of things that you have to work on here and here. And you have to find and develop those healthier habits, you know, whether it's through working less, cutting out drinking. If you can do it cold turkey, you can, if you can stop smoking altogether. I've been there, I've done that, it's been difficult. Sometimes I just fill a bowl of weed and I just leave it there when I was younger and I would just like, just fidget and try to like resist. And I was just testing myself and I'd walk away from it, come back, walk away from it. And it was one of those things of like, I need this to cope. We don't. We needed that to forget what was going on here and here. But we have to learn to set those things aside and not just run away from it, but really just learn to like be okay with not having it. Be okay with what's going on here and here. The moment you begin to do that, you give yourself the time and the space to deal with what is necessary so that you can be happier, healthier, and whole inside and outside. That's why they say the human body is a reflection of what's going on inside. The way your car looks, how messy it is, or how clean it is, is a reflection of what's going on inside here and here. Same thing with your home, same thing with your relationships, same thing with your workstations. How you carry yourself throughout the day, how you live on a day-to-day -day basis reflects what's going on inside. And likewise, outside reflects what's going on inside. Not always the case. Some people hide by also overworking out. They spend too much time there. And again, that's a way of overworking. You're not going to be still with yourself. You're not really going inward. Find ways, find methods to go inward be okay with sitting by yourself. Learn how to make peace with what's here and what's here. Stop relying on external things, external people, external validation. Bring peace to yourself where you're at right now. It takes time, a lot of time, a lot of work. I've shed a lot of tears, but you're gonna be fine. You just have to realize like you have to take the actions now. You have to reach out. You have to find out what is the best way for me to reach my best self. If you need help, reach out. I'm here for you. I love you guys. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend.